On the 12th of August uh, 2022, last year, many people remember it as a baking hot summer's day. Fire ripped through two blocks on Belmore Drive, making uh, about 20 households homeless. The children would have walked past that derelict, burnt out shell of a building day after day. We returned from the six week summer holidays and in the assembly we were talking about events that happened over the summer. I put my hand up. It's because I don't like to see people upset when it's sad, because when it's sad it makes me sad and I don't like anyone sad, I like to see everyone happy. So it started with her suggesting we could create pictures and send them to the survivors. And from that the school held an art competition and over a hundred entries were submitted from the children. We decided to upscale the project, I suppose, um, and Lee Benyon being a graffiti artist, he suggested that we could spray paint the pictures over the, the boards outside of the flats. The pictures are so nice. I loved all of them because they were colourful and so pretty and nice. It's an idea that we wish we'd have all thought of, but this idea came from a child. And that makes it even more special. Time and time again in our community, it's been our youth that have really spearheaded the response to different issues that we've gone through. It was the children two years ago who wrote the Climate Change Manifesto, for instance, for the borough. Ava Mae Smith is an incredible young girl. Her school must be very proud of her. Her parents must be very proud of her. Borenwood is very proud of her. I just felt happy. Everyone was, and everyone else was happy. 